Peggy 18. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Base here on Unsure Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. Well, on last episode, we kind of had another food shortage situation, but I really hope I'll be able to manage that. The silo here is starting to get filled in. We have now the GM onions or GM tomatoes, so those basically give us more crops when the harvest is done. But we will need to increase our population of biologists in order to accommodate that. Now one thing which I definitely want to get, massive storage, 45% commission. That should be doable. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, one thing which I want to do is to, once the metal has been taken away from here. Uh, put in here another one of these canteens so that that way we have more ways to get to this section of the base because this is now the weakest point and the cantina should not be like your main point of contact between uh, sick bay, uh, dorm, and other parts of the base. So by connecting this place uh, by like one more dome somewhere around here, making it like the large canteen. Uh, that would be great. And god damn it, because I was talking, the damn trading vessel has left. Uh, anyhow, the, the only thing which I would be able to probably sell to him would be once again the medicinal plants or medical supplies. Really wish I would have at least gotten those spares he had on board. But, oh, what the hell, Let, let's just deal with the situation as it is and see how we will manage. Uh, so I want to increase the population of the biologist. We have now one massive dorm. Hold on, let's slow this down. I just want to make sure that we get biologists and no dumb intruders who want to shoot up the damn place. So, we are growing some of that fake meat in here, we have those crops in here, and we will continue f to fill this up. We have another biodome and another biodome, so that would mean we have three biodomes and two labs in order to accommodate the food for our colonists. Now, you see, this is what I want to do, and if I put it like here, then I can connect the oxygen generator with the small factory over here, or the processing plant, if we want to call it by the actual name. I just really want to get this damn metal and everything else out of there, because it's kind of really grinding my gears. Okay, you have some food on your board. Okay. Now, I actually am sitting on a stupid amount of food for some reason. Uh, probably uh, this is all that has been put into the storehouses and the larger amount is that's like the rest that has been left in the uh, biodomes for now. So we're just gonna get rid of some of this stuff and I will definitely want to get some coins. So we can then purchase something nice and fancy when another ship arrives with something that I actually do require. So let's just sell off whatever of these supplies we do not need. Because if we are sitting on 60 units of vitro meat and I just don't know where the heck it is, then something is obviously wrong. Okay, you have finally picked up that goddamn piece of metal there. So we can go and do that large cantina right here. We're gonna connect it like this, and we are gonna connect it like this. This way we have two points of contact. The control center is still our first line of defense, all of our security guards are here, all the weapons are here, so whoever would have some idiotic idea 
he would die quite fast and thanks to the sick bay being so close we should manage just fine cantina has been constructed and i really hope that this robot will not get stuck in here because that would be just really stupid okay so this is being now filled in we can put in two of these meal makers I really want to rotate this damn thing I don't know why it's turned like that what if we put it like this I put in one more we can put in one more ha <laughs> okay um Unfortunately, these large tables that accommodate four people. Only one can be fit in per the entire quarter. Now we definitely need to put in some of these water fountains. Uh, it would be nice to put in some of these seeds too. This will be one fancy place. It will help our colonists to get some grub on. Really, really hope that will alleviate the pressure from this point. And now we have actually two points to move through. Really need to do something about these lasers not working full time. It's really, really screwing up the entire base security. Let's shut down the priority over here, because I feel like then uh, the entire s dome here is just not doing anything. Okay, thankfully, uh, I did not even notice that there was an armed intruder. Uh, what is our current status on the... Okay, we still have seven guards. Beautiful. So this definitely needs to get some help from the biologists because it's just really, really in shambles and if this dome will not be fully operational, well then we are losing a huge amount of water and other stuff on this not being properly managed, which is why I need more of those biologists to be shipped in. And because I wanted to build like the cantina somewhere in here, but I have instead built it here, there is still room in this place to somehow accommodate something. And with the constant uh, influx of people coming in, I was thinking maybe we would build a dorm here. Because this is a dead end, and if I would to connect it to let's say the multi-dome this place would be then properly filled in i mean the laser is already here so i don't feel the need to put in another one and let's see let's see let's see we are producing over 500 kilowatts we are consuming less than 300 so basically we are producing like uh, once as much as we require which is not that bad theoretically speaking if I would have a stupid amount of storage or space somewhere I could fill it in with a bunch of these power collectors just for the purposes were you just shooting at the colonist ship or what, what was that? okay we just got another set of two biologists so, yeah, since we have 73 people now, that is why I'm seriously considering building in the dorm. The reason why, fairly simple, we need beds. Let's take a look at what you offer. I really hate that I missed out on the opportunity to purchase um, that uh, large dome for storage. Yeah, that, that was a huge, huge screw up on my end. Can we get rid of 
off some of this stuff. If we would do two sixty three hundred seventy two two forty eight. Yeah, but then. It's just that the. Uh, is it the bioplastic that is turned into. Hold on, let me check one thing. I'm gonna slow this game down. Yeah, so we need bioplastic and the medicinal plants. Uh, this is a carrier robot and construction robot. And we have 8 construction robots, 10 carrier robots. Uh, really don't. Think. Let's just grab uh, these. I mean, he has freaking 55% commission, anyhow. Let's just get rid of the starch and. It's the dorm is built that will burn through our current amount of bioplastic quite a lot. Since we will be building in a huge amount of beds. So I will actually be happy that this can be uh, touched now. And the robots or whoever can go here if something would have happened to this place. Uh, and that is why this is going to be left alone. Otherwise, if uh, this would be completely blocked off, so I would, let's say, connect the multi-dome with the oxygen generator over here. Uh, if something were to happen, like this would be hit by a meteorite, I'm not really sure if they would be able to fix it. Now, let's play the squeeze in as many beds so nobody has any privacy at night game. Seriously, if they would force me to sleep like this in a colony far, far away from the earth, where everything is trying to kill me, well then I would probably shoot up the base myself. Because at the end of the day, at least five minutes of peace and quiet is something that people really can appreciate. That, that was somewhere... Okay, it actually did not hit the power collector, but we are crazy stupid low on the amount of our spare parts. And I see that nobody is working here despite the high priority. Okay, we have another trading vehicle here. Damn it, now it's gonna take forever to have someone show up with some damn blueprint or something, huh? Yeah, whatever. Let's get rid of this and get those coins. You have 60% commission, so that's even more ridiculous. Uh, let's uh, do this. So everyone will carry these things out. We have 29 biologists. I really need to like take a look at what's gonna happen here when this is left unattended. So I'm gonna switch off the high priority in would love to be able to squeeze in one of these uh, meat synthesizers like somewhere in here but unfortunately I feel like this workbench is just taking up way too much space for that to happen but yeah we have 105 pieces of veggies 58 pieces of the fake or synthetic meats the alert so that people are not left outside. Someone has to let me know since I've never actually managed to survive probably this damn long 
in a base. Um, do we have the solar flares on this type of planet? I know that the other planets do have the solar flares. We have just lost a ruler robot, which sucks. And we are gonna switch to producing more of the driller robots because we have only five of them now. I wanna get this uh, carrier robot to be finished off and then we can switch it to another driller robot so hopefully some engineer will do his damn job and finish off last 7% on construction for the robot, otherwise this is just idiotic. Really wish we would get more metal, and the bioplastic production is also somehow lacking behind. Hey, okay, hold on, there is a funky looking vessel. Okay, and that means we are now done with the Biologists definitely, you have 31 of them for now. So, I'm thinking we are gonna go engineer, medic. To increase their population and also get some more guards. Uh, workers, uh, I'm not really sure since we are using the thriller robots to uh, like go into the mines please tell me that the carrier robot has been finished finally so we can switch it up we are working on yeah so we are now gonna ramp up the production of the killer robots and we really 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 need to somehow increase the production of these spare parts because th this is just not fun The lab here is working. I'm gonna shut off the priority. Shut off the priority. I'm not really sure if I should be turning on the priority on this place. Probably no, just so that we have always some bioplastic and metal to work with. What do you have? Four spare parts, 40% uh, commission. So that's worth 84. So we can trade this for that. We can get in some boost too. We can sell some veggies for that. I mean, we turn into the the and alcohol anyhow in one of those places or the alcohol machines but yeah we are sitting on a stupid amount of stuff here and nothing is being moved inside of the storage so the quality is going down dramatically here but I'd rather have the overabundance of food and instead of the scares that we had recently with the actual like lack or even disappearance of food from our storage. That was something that I would hate to see again. So the question is... other thing to add in. I think two more spare parts machines would not hurt us. I feel like the cur oh crap! We are definitely raising the alarm. There's three of them. Well, don't, don't go away. There's still this lady. Not sure if we just lost a security guard. Yeah, they they have this weird uh, color to them when they arrive, so you can definitely notice that. 
But I want to check if we actually freaking lost. Uh, no, we did not. That is awesome. But what I'm quite sure we have lost out on are some weapons. It'd be actually really nice if we can get some produced. And we have a lot of our security guards here. So I'm really hoping some doctor will come in and take care of them. Okay, so this zone has been filled in, the food is sitting here, so if someone will show up, they will have something to eat or stuff their face with, so I'm happy with that. Uh, this is actually kind of fun because glass quarter is being filled with crops and starches, and yet we don't even... Okay, we just got two doctors. Which means I am gonna do now the security personnel and then we are gonna go for more workers. I feel like the food which we are currently producing is still able to sustain the base or the colony. Now I don't want to fill in this space with too much of the external structures because I will want to be able to go at least from this storage unit uh, into this direction and we'll also need to somehow expand here and this would be the plan uh, that for example I did discuss this on one of the previous episodes the starport can be squeezed in here and therefore if I would build another control center next to it and then let's say like the uh, bar uh, next to that I feel like that would be working just perfectly fine but something has landed and I feel like I need to check now everything get more guards we actually did get two guards which means I'm gonna now switch to the workers so that we have someone always working in the mines or in the processing plants I also feel like the workers are the only class of the colonists which actually carry things from the domes into any other structures or the storage units. Okay, the spares are actually being produced now, so I'm super happy with that. Okay, we have a worker. That's fine. So, yeah, because I'm quite sure I would be able to go through this rock. That that should be perfectly fine. Now, the question is what is our oxygen level looking like? Need to check that 21, 22. 22, 21. Now, the biggest issue is probably gonna be here because well, we have two of the dorms here. We have canteens and such, and these things consume a stupid amount of oxygen. We have just lost another carrier robot. Okay. We have 11 of those, 8 construction robots, and hold on. Okay, they're workers and they immediately went into the mines. I'm super happy that this is where we have the landing pad now, because then they go immediately and work. I mean, these two mines have become, due to that, kind of empty, which is sad. I'm really hoping if we get more of the driller robots and we'll maintain 
this amount of mines for now. I think the four mines that we have is plenty enough to supply the base with enough ore if they are fully occupied. Where hell do we have five? Yeah, we have actually five. So we have the semiconductors, we have this. I'm really thinking if I should build another one of these puppies. I'm now super paranoid that every goddamn ship is gonna bring in some gun toting idiot who will try to do damage to our column, which I would just hate. And because I have now more guards than I have the security desks or consoles, we have two guards who are absolutely doing nothing. And I need to do something about that. Okay, what is your commission? 45%. Let's, let's get rid of some of these veggies. Let's see how much is this of a value when we fill in the entire storage of his. Okay. So 155 for 29 pieces of vegetables. It's perfectly acceptable. Even if it would be from this biodome here directly. I don't care. Just give him whatever we have. We're gonna get those coins. It's gonna help us out. This is filled with plenty of spare parts. That is perfect. The problem is that the spare parts are stored not close enough to any of the airlocks. Which means that the construction robot needs to come in here, pick it up, and then carry it god knows where. Laser. It's working. And this has kind of become super, super empty. Not really sure if it's just due to the fact that everything from this biodome is being immediately transferred either into the cantina or the processing plant or like bioplastic or here for the meals. But definitely would love to get one more robotics facility. I mean, we have the semiconductors now, and all the other parts. We have 11 engineers, so we need to increase the population of the engineers. We are at 26 workers. I would love to get to like 15 engineers, and once we get to the 15 engineers, I will... Or I can in the meantime start working on the other robotics facility. Another trading vehicle. You have 60% commission. Still feel like I can sell at least something. Let's give him 20 pieces of veggies and... Now, I really don't want to go and build the robotics facility here. The reason why the only thing in our storage here are vegetables. There is actually pieces of metal and bioplastic and even some storage and medical supplies. But we don't have anything close like this. If I would get the robotics facility somewhere close to this damn small storage unit, I feel like we would be a-okay for this one. Th this is why this robotics facility is well supplied and it should be producing robots on a regular base. But they are not, they are kind of slacking off. We have only 7, 8 and 11. I did hear the laser do something. We have just lost another goddamn robot. Yeah, we, we need to do a robotics facility. 
and we need to do a big one. So let's let's build it here. And the reason why I want to build it here is a we have the resources here being supplied to us and we can start making our way to this corner of the damn map so I'm not really sure if I want to hook up like another oxygen generator already to this part of the map but if I would be able to like uh, fill in this side here with like the power collectors that that would be extremely helpful so the thing which I need to do is get in these repair stations and then I'm gonna get in three of these things which will be producing robots and that way I can have a driller robot, a carrier robot and construction robot being built in each of them separately at all times when some engineer magically decides to show up and do their goddamn job. Just look at this, it's all automated, it's all being done by the robots, it's so cute. It's like an army of wallies has just moved in and just fill this place up with lots of useful stuff. Now, the issue with the uh, bot auto repair is that basically if any of the robots get really damaged, uh, either they need to bypass this place because these two stations are being used so they have to go farther in the base, but because I feel like we be eventually expanding. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Red alert. These bozos are definitely gonna cause some issues. You are still not, like, getting in, and you too. Why do people want to shoot up my lovely base? I was almost thinking that this thing will also be some intruder or something like that. But okay, so happy I paid attention that time. Okay, so, uh, driller, construction, carrier robot, this will for now do just fine. Really don't even know if we did get more engineers. And I feel like we have lost some goddamn medics. So let's do this, 50-50, um, definitely need to get more doctors in or we are boned, and uh, I will need to somehow start working. Okay, we just did get a medic in, perfect. So if I would want to do the uh, this thing in here, that means we will need another security center somewhere in here, which means we will require a med bay too and the bar too. So it would be really wish there would be like some form of blueprint type of deal like was introduced in Anno 1800. God, I love that game, but I cannot run it. Um, so if we were to build this here, we are building like the airlock here, the control center here, which means we can build the med bay here, uh, the bar over here, I'm not sure if there will be... Because I've... Uh, honestly, I've never gotten to the starport, so... Uh, that is why I'm kind of interested to know if before actually building the starport, I should build a radio antenna, which will try to bring in more ships, and therefore the starport will actually be used. 
and then on this side we can build in a bunch of these uh, silos or so, thing like that. It's just I don't want to build a stupid amount of these domes because that will start to use up a big chunk of power all of a sudden and the spike in energy being consumed. Please disappear. Please don't tell me I will have to edit this out. I accidentally clicked on something funny on my keyboard. Anyhow. Um, so the robots are being fixed. Integrity very poor. I'm really afraid that this ruler robot will be gone in one more rotation. So possibly when we will get another trading vehicle or merchant, a uh, smart decision would be to just purchase some robots because obviously our engineers are not interested in making any additions to our colony. I'm gonna shut off the priority on these things for now. Starting to see some. Yeah, we are losing way too many drugs. Please don't bring in more intruders. Now that should be a medic. Okay, uh, you are bringing in way too many medics now, and I really need these engineers. Because if we get the radio tower. So let's say I would decide to build this thing like this. Then we should still be able to continue to expand. So just I'm really not sure if I want to make like a cantina, then a robotics facility, and then a pub here or bar or what you call it. Definitely need to fill in that spot and get in some more people. Because I don't mind having this being our main uh, processing stage for people to arrive, but also nobody is mounting any of these things, so we are gonna take apart one of these telescopic uh, thingies. And we are gonna put in one of these for the radio antenna so that it can be actually managed by someone at some point. That should be an engineer because he has the orange. Yeah, he's not shooting up the place. Yeah, we did get the engineer. I really want to get to like at least 15 of them that way. Somehow I'm hoping they will start to do either processing only robots or spare parts or something else. But yeah, overall we are currently in a great place with the colony, which I'm quite sure will bite me in the ass for saying it out loud. Really hope I did not just jinx myself. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It takes time. You know the plan for this lovely place here. It, it's really like wanting me to turn it into some form of spaceport part of the colony. And I really hope I will be able to utilize it that way. And if you are interested to find out how that will continue to go, consider subscribing to the channel. I publish videos on a weekly basis, so you will have always something fun to watch. And yeah, uh, if you have any comments, tips or tricks, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will try to get back to you at my earliest convenience. 
And in the meantime, I'm gonna wish you a pleasant gaming experience. Hopefully you are staying safe. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.